Saturday night. Here's a few highlights. Judaism 101 and a touch of Hebrew has begun, but it's not too late to join the class. Judaism 101 is at 6.30 and a touch of Hebrew begins at 7.30. The classes meet on Wednesdays through July 20th. Each class is $18 for CNT members and $36 for non-members. Please visit our website, www.ldnairtomead.org, to register and pay for these classes. The adult choir has begun weekly rehearsals. They meet every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Please contact Lynette in the clergy office at 702-733-6292, extension 208, with any questions. Rabbi and Cantor will be leading special classes this summer to learn how to use the High Holy Day Moxor, the new one. Mm -hmm. Mark your calendar for Friday, July 22nd after services and Friday, September 16th after services. And please order your copies now so you will have them for High Holy Days. Um, I understand that the first big order is going out August 1st, so be sure and get your order in before then. Uh, there's one more thing that I'd like to mention which is not on this sheet. Family Promise is coming up again, and I had a little sheet of paper at home with all the information on it that I wanted to tell you, and of course it's still at home. So anyhow, um, I was talking to Shauna Brody this afternoon, and she said that there are only two more dinners that they need to be covered, one for Wednesday night and one for Saturday night. And so if you are interested in making a dinner for anywhere from 12 to 20 people, um, please uh, let Shauna know and, um, or go on the uh, website and you'll find, and, and there is a portion called um, ways to get involved and it will be under that. There's also, uh, people have been wonderful and every overnight is filled already. People have done that. What they do need is if you live near the temple, they need someone to come in to unlock the rooms between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. And if you can do this, you can stay around for um, until about 6 when the evening overnighters come in and just pass it over to them. So it would be greeting the folks as they get here and um, saying hello to the bus driver and if he has any information. So please, if you can help out to fill the rest of the needs for Family Promise, please do. Shabbat Shalom. Page 
Spectre to light the Shabbat lights. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us, as their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Turn to page 124. Responsively at the bottom. May the door of this synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. And so we bring in Shabbat, and we take a deep breath, and we let out what was yucky about the week we had, and we let in what we want for the week to come. I can hear myself singing in the lobby. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's 
double me. So I want to thank our summer cantorial intern, Becky Mann, for joining me tonight on the Bema. And as you can see, we're missing a human being, the rabbi. Uh, he is packing for Israel, um, which I will be doing soon. And I welcome all of you here for this, this special Shabbat service, because every Shabbat is special. Um, we turn to page 138, and we welcome the Shabbat bride into our Shabbat. Now that we've welcomed the Shabbat bride, we greet the angels, page 142. Mm -hmm. 
a moment for you to turn to the person next to you, the person behind you, and greet someone that you maybe don't know, haven't seen in a while. Um, if they're wearing a blue pin that says hashtag Shalom Squad, they're part of our membership team. So definitely greet them and get to know them. Entrances to holiness are everywhere. The possibility of ascent is all the time. Even at unlikely times and through unlikely places, there is no place on earth without the presence. Please rise for the Barahu, page 146.
Please be seated. So as I shared with some of you, I had the opportunity to be at the American Conference of Cantors Convention, say that three times fast, um, this, this past week in Philadelphia. And that was really cool because as you remember from back in January and February when I was like having you quiz me so that I could get into the American Conference of Cantors and I did a whole, a, a whole uh, sermon and song in two parts so that I was practicing my pieces and well, you know, I got in and so now I got to be part of this amazing professional organization and part of their convention and which next year is in Las Vegas, which is very cool. Um, and I got to meet people that I've only seen their names on pieces of music. And like to sit there and be like, hmm, oh, that's the guy that writes that Psalm 23. I do it like every funeral. And that's the guy in the, in the elevator. That's the guy that oh, writes that, that Dodi Lee that I, I sing at all these weddings. And, and then to sit in, in Tefillah and Shacharit services and Noah Aronson walks in who wrote that Baruch Hu that we just sang. And um, hopefully we'll be bringing him to Las Vegas next year. Um, it's, a little star, it's a little star striking. Um, but it's also a great honor. And I want to give kavod to their work. And so that's why every week we do slightly different pieces. We keep some stuff the same, like Shalom Lechem, so that you can always sing along and feel comfortable. But you may hear tonight there's some new pieces, some pieces we've only done a few times, some we haven't done for a long time. I, think there, I don't think there's anything brand, brand new tonight, but you'll hear over the summer. And thanks to having Becky here, she's willing to try stuff with me for the first time. Um, and we go, in, we go in together and try it. So thank you for being a congregation that's willing to grow and change and try new things. And then we find stuff that works for us and makes us um, grow as spiritual beings and, and works for our hearts. So that's a plug for Jewish music. And I thank you for being part of that journey with me. So we thank God for bringing on the evening, which will approach us soon. And we go to page 149 at the bottom and read together. This is an hour of change. Within it, we stand uncertain on the border of light. Shall we draw back or cross over? Where shall our hearts turn? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? This is the hour of change. And within it, we stand quietly on the border of light. What lies before us? Shall we draw back, my brother, my sister, or cross over? Baruch Adonai, Hamari Varavi.
please rise. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Freedom's on the way to pick you up inside, put you in the land that'll make it all all right. Freedom's on the way, freedom's on the way now. Freedom's on the way to pick you up inside, put you in the land that'll make it all all right. Freedom's on the way, freedom's on the way now. 
So we walked out of Egypt where everybody knows us Into the mystery guided by Moses Lost in this place but he said Don't lose faith Cause for thousands of years you were nothing but slaves On your way to your graves with no hope to ever be saved But if you look to your God Well you can hear him say Freedom's on the way to pick you up inside Put you in the land, it'll make it all alright Freedom's on the way, freedom's on the way now Freedom's on the way to pick you up inside Put you in the land, it'll make it all alright Freedom's on the way, freedom's on the way now so we walked in the desert and the future looked black Didn't even have a sack, just the bread that was on our back So it was hard to not lose hope But when you're scared and afraid, feeling stranded, abandoned Remember the words that your Lord has commanded And you'll see there's a light on the horizon Cause freedom's on the way to pick you up inside Put you in the land that'll make it all alright Freedom's on the way, freedom's on the way now Freedom's on the way to pick you up inside Put you in the land, it'll make it all alright Freedom's on the way, freedom's on the way now And though the journey we traveled was many years ago Well, the pain we felt then is a pain we still know But the hope of our people remains Cause every desert you cross, every step, every mile Is a testament to overcoming exile So for the sake of our name we pray For a day where we all give thanks Cause we that one here at Congregation Air to me, but not for long.
has blown the marketplace away. There is a song on the wind and joy in the trees. Shabbat arrives in the world, scattering a song. In the silence of the night, eternity utters a day. Shamru bene Israel et tashabat la asot et tashabat le dorotam berito olam be shamru bene Israel et tashabat la asot et tashabat. for the Amidah, page 164. Pray as if everything depended on God. Act as if everything depended on you.
Eloheinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Banora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone. We continue in silent devotion through page 180. When you have completed your prayers, please be seated. Shalom Rahab Yisrael Amchad Tassim Leolam 
Turn to page 371 for our Misha Berach prayer. At this time, we think of those who are in the bed of illness that need our heartfelt prayers. Perhaps someone struggling with addiction, any kind of disease, any kind of, of illness. We stand now and say the names to ourselves of the people that we're thinking of. together in solidarity for those who have no one to say Misha Barach for them. It's always awkward when I have to do the Devar Torah because I don't get to sit down here. I'm like used to sitting down here.
Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there stood a temple on a mount. Our people worshipped, sacrificed, and witnessed great holiness there. It was destroyed, not once, but twice. But a piece of it still remains. A piece that the Midrash says still contains divine presence. A piece that the enemy couldn't tear down. We call it Hakotel, the wall. It stands as the center of Jerusalem. It stands as the center of our heart. When we rose up and told God that we were ready to pray tonight during Baruch Hu and stood in thanks and acknowledgement for the wonderful works that brought us here during the Amidah, and when we stand in a few moments for the adoration during Aleinu, we point ourselves not only towards Aron HaKodesh, the Holy Ark, and the sacred scroll of Torah, but also metaphorically toward Jerusalem, towards the Temple Mount, where the first and sec second temples once stood. More in the sanctuary is more accurate, but it works in here too. We can see it in our mind's eye as we pray. Our hearts are turned east always. We may live in the diaspora, but we are always Israel. In less than two days, 18 of us will board a plane headed toward Tel Aviv. We will tour the Holy Land flowing with that metaphoric milk and honey, and a few days into our trip, arrive in the sacred city. I will never forget the first time I entered the holy old city, walked up the stairs, looking out, and taking my first breath, my first sight of Hakotel. There she stood in all of her glory, and I could not wait to run into her arms and place my very special prayer, but not without going through security first. <laughs> I am honored to stand with friends and congregants as they take that first glance in just a few days. I am sure many tears of joy will flow. This space is not perfect. Religious rule has made it very unfair where men have over 75% of the wall to pray and women cram into a tiny space for their moment of embrace. Robinson's Arch, a separate part of the wall, has given us egalitarian prayer space. And while I am so excited to see it, and God willing, pray and lean Torah there, the ultra-Orthodox are making it near impossible for that to be a peaceful process right now. Imagine it, sacred space for Jews, and we are fighting each other on who and how we can pray. Women of the wall have spent nearly 30 years devoted to bridging the gap. They have made great strides. We will hear from their founder, Anat Hoffman. I heard she's been here before. And we will hear for her, from her in Israel in about a week. She will likely tell us the work is far from over. Nonetheless, we will be there. We will share in the sacred energy of that wall that once was a retaining wall of the holy temple. There we will taste the sweetness of that land aflowing. Our Torah portion this week, Shlach Lecha, teaches us about the 12 tribes Moses chose. We begin to find out that they will fail their task. They lack qualities of leadership and faithfulness. And we question not only why this is happening to what we know as the great tribes of Israel, but two of the tribe leaders, Caleb and Joshua, they stand out. They reject defeat and show that faithfulness will be their pathway to success. We learn from the tribe leaders how to be leaders of our own and how not to act in positions of power. We learn that coming together on a journey means working as a team. The tribe leaders of the Torah who could not successfully lead are still living in the world today. Not being able to pray together in harmony is a symbol that we haven't entirely figured things out. But what we have acknowledged is that we are a community of Jews entering the promised land, giving thanks to God through prayer and acts of loving kindness, observing laws dear to us, and being symbolic and intentional in our actions. Near the end of the Parsha, two commandments are given that set the ground rules for continued success. 
Direction is given for separation of a portion of challah for God and a blessing over that bread and great thanks and thanks for sustaining life. When you enter the land which I am taking you, when, I'm, when you enter the land which I am taking you, you eat the bread of the land. You shall set aside some as a gift to the eternal. As opposed to the traveling bread of affliction, matzah, this is the bread of joy, being settled, being free. Set aside this peace to thank the eternal. The other law at the end of the parsha is the law of tzitzit. These things at the end of my talit. It points towards honoring the past and looking towards the potential of the future. Tzitzit and the talit, they are attached to remind us of our connection to God and remind us of the significant impact of our prayer. While the talit can be worn in private prayers, it is most often worn with our community. It's symbolic of continuity of God and Judaism. We, take, we have taken these commandments to heart. And the 18 travelers of CNT, we will pray, we will walk, we will break bread with our community in the physical space where God led us into freedom and out of exile. Through turmoil and struggle into opportunity, as we eat the challah and don our seat seat, we will remember what God has commanded and be thankful. These 18 people of Israel will embark as the Israelites did, from the desert to the land flowing with wonder. It will take 40 half hours instead of 40 years or 40 days. Our purposes range from wanting to connect with holiness and spirituality on a new level, to sightseeing a new land, to trying new foods, to bonding with their community, to strengthening the bonds of their Judaism, to a little bit of everything. But one thing is certain. In our journey, Torah is in our hearts. We will arrive with the journey of the tribes in mind. We will wrap ourselves in the talit as we pray and break bread together and give thanks. Affirmed that God and United Airlines brought us to this place to have the holiest possible experience. I know many of you in this room wanted to come with us. Whether it be finances, physical ability, timing, or other commitment, you just couldn't do it this year. There will be other trips, I promise you that. So as Rabbi A says, save those shekels. Get that passport and get ready for next time. But in the meantime, I want to give you the opportunity to connect with God one-on-one. -on -one. Next Shabbat, I will be, a lot of us in the room will be, in Jerusalem. We will stand at the wall, and I am offering you an opportunity to discreetly place your precious prayers to God in the wall. I will do it for you. As you exit the doors of the sanctuary tonight on your way out to the Oneg, our amazing ushers will hand you a small piece of paper and a pencil. If you wish, take it, make a note, fold it up really small because the cracks are they're pretty full, and come and find me, or perhaps Lynette, at the Oneg and hand me your prayer. I promise I will carry it with me and hand deliver it to God. Much like the wish you make when you blow out the candles on your birthday cake, I encourage you to keep this prayer for you. Let it be an unbreakable bond between you and the source of blessing. Shabbat Shalom. Next week in Jerusalem. And so we pray for Jerusalem. This is a special song, a special prayer from the Psalms that my friend Marsha Atti wrote, Cantor Marsha Atti from San Francisco. Pray for well-being, O Jerusalem. May all those who love you be at peace. For you are a light that shines upon the world. My heart turns to you to pray for Shalom, shalom.
on page 586 for Alenu. Please be seated briefly. Page 598. <clears throat> when cherished ties are broken and the chain of love is shattered, only trust and strength of faith can lighten the heaviness of the heart. At times, the pain of separation seems more than we can bear. But if we dwell too long on our loss, we embitter our hearts and harm ourselves and those about us. The psalmist said that in his affliction, he learned the law of God. And in truth, grief is a great teacher when it sends us back to serve and bless the living. We learn how to counsel and comfort those who like ourselves are bowed with sorrow. We learn when to keep silent in their presence and when a word will assure them of our love and concern. Thus, even when they are gone, the departed are with us, moving us to live as in their higher moments they themselves wish to live. We remember them now. They live in our hearts. They are an abiding blessing. We remember those recently taken from this world. Adam Cohen, Bennett Wilgard, Jesse Glasser, Anicia Rubel, Matthew Gale, Sylvia Goldschlag, Clarice Goldberg, Delina Perry, Janet Tenner, Arthur Slip Slipok. And we think of the Yortzites, 
that occur this week. Violet Advocate, Don Cleveland Arnold, Ronald Bartow, Susan Bennett, Alma Bernay, Eileen Bernay, Dora Bernstein, Etta Borscher, Teresa Bosick, Alona Bricker, Harry Check, Litzy DeWald, Don Eisner, Abraham Etkin, Saul fin Finnick, Patrice, Patrice Fisher, Rose Gellin, Joseph Kahn, Jerry Kaufman, Meyer Kinsler, Q Canopo, Jack Cotlow, Fanny Leon, Julius Lerner, Susan Lerner, Betsy McRitchie, D. Robert Mendelson, Leona Perlman, Leslie Ritchie, David Allen Ross, Larry Sasso, Jean Sachs, Alvin Selnick, Rebecca Sherman, Sonia Smaller, Henrietta L. Sonnenthal, Norman L. Sonnenthal, Leonard Spector, Edith Winnick. If there is anyone that you wish to recall this week within the recent days, the year, or the Yortzeit, if someone that's in your hearts, please rise and say their name. We think of all of these, we think of all the victims of so much terrorism in our world. We think of our military who have been lost. We think of so many, and we rise in solidarity. Page 598. Bagala vizman kari vimru amen. Yehe shme rabam ibarach le alam ume almaya. Yit barach vish tabach vit paar vit romam vis nase. Vit hadar vit ale vit halal shme de kudisha brihu. Let ela min kol birchata vishirata. Tush vichata vinechemata. Da amiran be alma vimru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya. Bechaim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. O se shalom v'imromav. Hu ya se shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, to all the world. And we say, Amen. Amen. And so from sadness to joy, we have our special kiddush. We have our oneg. Um, and so... I would like to call up anyone who is traveling with us to Israel, anyone who is in one of our classes here at the synagogue. So that could be anyone that's in the religious school or in our adult B'nai Mitzvah or choosing Judaism classes. Please come on up for Kiddush. Hopefully I have enough cups. I'm not traveling, but I'm not traveling. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. <laughs> This is it. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam.
So a couple of quick thank yous. Soon you will see a new, slightly bigger, that's not why we got it, but a different piano in our main sanctuary. Ours has been totaled, you wouldn't know it, but for about six years and slowly getting more and more totaled. So imagine driving a car with no engine. So that's what it's been like for Ricky and anyone who has played our piano. And in the last year it's been really bad um, and very hard to play. And um, it's been very out of tune. We've had to tune it very often to keep it even playable. So we've been on the hunt for a piano. Lots of people have stepped forward and said, here's mine. But it hasn't been right for the beautiful Bima that we, we have. It's, it's quite vast. So finally, someone called and said, this piano is right. And it's a really good price. And they're willing to make a special deal with because it's a synagogue. And we have a piano. So. Many people, many of you sitting here tonight, thank you so much for helping us by giving any amount, all amounts, they added up to enough to put a down payment on this piano. And soon, once we have the piano and after the high holidays, we'll have a concert that's called Pay Off the Piano Concert. <laughs> and to get in, that admission price will help pay for the rest of the piano. Um, and I, I signed probably... 20 thank you notes today um, of people who stepped up and helped us buy that piano. So we're going to sound really beautiful for high holidays. And thank you for understanding the beauty of Jewish music and prayer song. I can't thank you enough. There's, there's many of you in here tonight, so thank you. Um, I want to thank Becky because it's been a really fun summer so far, and I don't want it to end. <laughs> And um, so next week, she'll be leading services with Jeff Wayne, who you know from Minion, and that'll be fun. And then the week after, my friend, my, I call her my cantor Biffle, best friend for life, uh, Lizzie, she's going to be out uh, of her pulpit in Beverly Hills, so we're going to fill in for her. Uh, I want to give Becky some experiences as an intern on other pulpits, so we're going to go fill in for her, and she's going to go see my old internship in Redondo Beach on Saturday morning, the 16th, so we'll be out that weekend. Um, but it'll be a good experience. So we will make sure there will be someone awesome on this pulpit for you anytime that I'm gone or Becky's gone or Rabbi's gone, which won't be very many more times during the summer, don't worry. <laughs> so um, with that, it is 4th of July weekend. I didn't forget. So we're going to sing America the Beautiful and then join in a special Oneg special because it's Shabbat. Uh, on, so our, our closing song is 681. And may all of us traveling this weekend, whether it be to Israel or anywhere, um, be safe, have fun, and enjoy. So may we all be blessed. And thank you to our Bima guests. We have Janet and we have our Shamus Dell and our ushers. Oh, if you're new to our congregation, you're just visiting or you're brand new, um, Reach out, let people know that. Um, it's a kind of a different crowd this summer, so they might not know you're new. Say, I'm new. Um, if they're wearing a blue pin that says hashtag Shalom Squad, that's because they're here to reach out and connect you with the community, so talk to them first. Um, and welcome to our community, and we're so glad to have you. All right, page 681. Here we go. I hope you all know it. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fertile plain. How about we stand? America, America, God shed his grace on feet whose stern impassioned stress a thoroughfare for freedom beat across the wilderness America America God mend thine every flaw confirm thy soul in self-control Thy liberty. 
pitiful for heroes proved in liberating strife who more than self their country love and mercy more than life america america make god thy gold refine till all success be nobleness and every gain divine oh beautiful for patriot dream that sees beyond the years thine alabaster cities gleam and in the human tears america america god shed his grace on thee and crown thy god with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Good, that was good. You're like all the choir. Very nice. Shabbat Shalom. Please uh, take a moment to fill out your note for the wall uh, and hand it to me when you have a chance. Thank you.